anterior prism height. This procedure is mainly used to assess the clear volume in a person uh, who is having uh, dry eye syndrome. Uh, okay, so the first step is that we have to uh, perform the mechanical adjustment for the patient so that we can perform this procedure more easily and we can have the uh, exact uh, measurements for the test. Our second step is that we have to do all the adjustment for the observer so that we can have the exact accurate focusing on the patient's eye and so that we can have the accurate measurements for our procedure. And we have to gain the maximum visibility uh, by adjusting the binoculars and we have to move the joystick forward and backward so that we can have the uh, best observation. You all can see that by moving the width knob here we can adjust the width of the slit on the patient's eye. Now we will move the slit along the 180 degrees and then we will focus on the patient's lower lid margin so that we can assess the clear prism.